So I recently bought a Creality Ender 3 V2 Neo, but I've already used up just about all of the included test filament. So I actually printed a surprising amount of little objects with the test filament, but it's quickly ran out. So I ordered a couple rolls of Hatchbox PLA, and today I'll be testing them out. Let's get this stuff unboxed. So these are about 22 bucks a roll. I got them 10% off on Black Friday, so I was happy about a little bit of savings there. So this is some of the higher end filament, but I wanted to make sure I do the good stuff because it just makes things a lot easier. I got one gray and one black. This looks to be the black uh, version. So these are each uh, kilogram spools. Um, that equates to roughly 2.2 pounds, if I'm correct. So I'll have about four and a half pounds of filament to burn through here. Oh yeah, that should last quite a while. <laughs> so before we get printing with the new filament, I'll have to remove this little bit of white that I have left over. So just press this. And pull her out. I'll just slide this bigger hole on the top here, the spool holder. And then you're supposed to cut the end of the filament to a 45 degree angle. I think that just helps it get through the tube better. And just like that, we should be all ready to print. So for the first print, I downloaded a file off of Thingiverse. It's a uh, wall hanger mount for the 24 scale crawlers. And it's actually designed by CCXRC, um, a YouTuber that I like to watch. So this program here is called a slicer. And what this does is it slices the design into layers so that the printer knows how to print the design. Um, I'm doing this at 30% infill, that's just what he recommended. And I'll be printing it in black. So just download the file onto this SD card that came with the printer. We'll then insert it into the side here, the little slot. Now we'll go into the prepare menu and then move down to preheat PLA. Once everything's heated up, it should be ready to print. Alrighty, the print has completed. Let's get this thing off of here now. Nice thing about this Neo printer is that it has a magnetic plate so you can just bend it. And it's usually enough to just pop it loose, just like that. So now I'm going to print pretty much the same thing, but slightly different for the SCX24. It just has a little bit different grooves. But yeah, it seems to have printed very nicely, so let's go get these things installed on the wall. Those mounts are now on, um, both hanging up there pretty nicely now. Gets them out of the way and actually clears up a nice little patch of workbench in here now. So if you'd like to print this wall mount for yourself, I'll link the file in the description below. If you don't have a 3D printer but you want this mount, um, he is selling them on his store as well, so I'll link his website. But yeah, I really appreciate everyone watching. That's what I'll do for this one, guys. See you next time.